Do you want to know why I love geocaching? Stay tuned, and I'll let you know why I love it so much. Wandering geocachers, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification button so every time we upload a video, you can watch it. Now that we get the formalities out of the way, I would just like to say I'm sorry it's been so long since I've updated. Um, it's very hard with the winter time where we are because there's that much snow. And then you have all the blizzards and stuff that we have here where I am and it is so hard to find them because then things would end up sort of like this. It says it's here. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe next time. So what we might end up doing, I'm going to take a little break here for a few months until spring because it is so difficult, like I said, and as you saw, to upload when you can't find the caches because they're buried in six feet of snow and yeah, that's not fun. So I'm not like other parts of the country where you get a little bit of snow, maybe an inch or two, maybe six inches and you're good. That's all you get all year. Where I live, no, you get like three feet of snow in two nights. So it's not, it's not easy. But what I wanted to do today, in case you haven't seen, or in case you don't know, the geocaching vlogger is one that we like to follow and he has a challenge. It is the geocaching headquarters, at least appreciation week, he's declaring. And so all this week, they're challenging, he is challenging everybody to upload videos of how geocaching touched their lives. And in case you haven't seen the video, here it is. All right, friends, I have a question for you. Has geocaching impacted your life in a positive way? For me, the answer to that question is I can confidently say yes. It has impacted my life in amazing ways. Geocaching has taken me to some amazing places that I would have not discovered otherwise. I have friends, I would say lifetime friends, that I have met through this hobby. And geocaching has given me this platform to influence people in a positive way and try to make their lives better by inspiring them to go out and go geocaching. And I honestly cannot say that unless it was for geocaching.com, unless it was for geocaching headquarters. Those folks that work so hard in Seattle, they are the engine that keep our great hobby going. According to their website, the mission of geocaching.com is to inspire and enable discovery, exploration, and adventure. Their goal is to make everyone an explorer and every location an adventure. And I don't know about you, but I really think that they are succeeding in that mission. So today, which is now January 20th, 2018, I would like to declare along with other vloggers, podcasters, and bloggers that this week, January 20th through the 26th, is Geocaching HQ Appreciation Week. 
So I'm asking you, Geocacher, along with me and the thousands of other geocachers around the world to take a moment this week to thank those good people at Geocaching HQ. And when I say good people, they are good people. Brian Roth and his whole team dedicate their energy to make our lives better. And the least we could do is thank them. So here's what I would like to happen this week. I would like geocachers to bombard geocaching.com with thanks. Here are some ideas. Write a letter, send a postcard, send some good old fashioned snail mail. You know when you got that thank you card from your niece for a graduation party, you felt good. I think it'd be great to make all those lackeys in Seattle feel awesome. So write them a thank you card, a thank you letter. I will put the address in the description below on YouTube or in the comments here on Facebook. If snail mail is not your thing, you can go to their contact page on geocaching.com and in that contact form just express your thanks there. Or I would love for you to go to social media on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever, and thank them there. Maybe tag geocaching.com and be sure to use the hashtag iHeartGCHQ. And when you thank them, I think it would be really great if you told them some sort of story or some sort of reason on how geocaching has impacted your life in a positive way. Our goal is to really make those good people in Seattle really smile for all the hard work that they do for us to make our lives better every single day. So with that, I just wanna thank geocaching.com and the good people that work there every single day. You have made my life better and thousands of others around the world. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and find some geocaches and express your thanks this week during Geocaching HQ Appreciation Week. Thanks. So my way of saying how much I appreciate is I want to tell Geocaching Headquarters thank you so much for creating this game. Um, the scavenger hunt it has definitely helped me in a lot of ways. It's helped me get out of the house more. It's helped me bond a little bit with my husband since he loves to do this too. It's definitely taken me to some adventures that I have never would have had before as well as to some places I never would have thought to. And also, too, it stuns me at how many caches I walked right by until I knew that this existed and didn't even know they were there. So you guys are doing a great job of hiding them and making people go find them and keeping them away from muggles, which was me at one point, until Stacy introduced me to it. And now I am so glad that I have it and I have found it. And I've actually found that I'm addicted to the point that if I can't find a cache, I go crazy. And I feel so, like, itching to get out there and get exploring. It also gives, it challenges me, you know, look, f complete longer tasks as well as, you know, to get that coin. And it teaches me a little bit of history and teaches me a little bit about my area and where I can find my, the caches. And so I'm just really grateful that I've been able to find those things and do them. So I wanted to say thank you so much for all that you've done and keep up the good work and just keep going on. I can't wait to see what more we can explore in the future. I also love too, I should say, that especially the collectible stuff, the coins and the path tags and the travel bug tags and just all those things are so much fun to collect and have a collection of them and I just really enjoy it very much. So that is my appreciation to geocaching.com for all your hard work and for everything that you've done. So you didn't think I'd end my video without a challenge, would you? Of course not. So if there's any other cachers that are out there, go ahead and you got to upload a video too saying how you enjoyed geocaching and how it's you know brought a smile to your face and everything so get out there you can tag me tag geocaching vlogger because this was originally his idea but i thought i'll make a video of it there's not much i'm not that good at much of anything else so video so it's your turn to do the same thing so comment below some of your stories too so that I can read them.
And like I said, you could tag me in the video, tag us in the video that you make as well. And can't wait to see you guys out there. Remember, keep wandering.